What are you? Good. I don't think you blend Ooh, them well, very well. Oh, wow, this doesn't look so good. Oh, that might be your friend at the door. Your, your, you know, your friend. I don't hear anything. Come in. Um, did you hear that? Oh, crikey, please welcome to the 430 Show studio, Robbie Fruin! <laughs> Robbie Fruin was born in Wellington and started playing rugby union at a young age. In 2007, he played for New Zealand where they took home the Under-19 Rugby World Championship. In 2009, he made his Super 14 debut for the Hurricanes and in 2012, took home the ITM Cup Player of the Year after playing three seasons with Canterbury. Now he's a midfield back for the Crusaders and set for a great 2015 season. And here he is now, Robbie Fruin. Hey! What's happening? Oh, 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 that was it? awesome. Wait Good to see you, bro. Oh, <laughs> Mate, grab a seat, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 grab a seat. Here, they're, they're having a sale at the moment. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> to where? <laughs> if there was one place in New Zealand that you'd, that you'd want to go, where would you go right now? Uh, France. Fr in New Zealand? Oh, New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin Franz actually lives oh, there. Oh, right. Nice. So right. so Sorry, Adam. Gotcha, gotcha, buddy. Actually, Listen, have a seat. Sorry about Adam. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. Thank Sorry. you for coming in today. You, no, thank you for having me. You didn't need to be training or anything like that? Nah, I told them I need a break, so. Yeah, so you're coming here. Well, <laughs> thank you. Mate, well, I want to get a bit big. I want to get big. I'm quite yeah, scrawny at the moment. Good. And you, look at those guns. I want to know how do you do it? What's yeah, the secret? These are, these are actually in the process of leaning up, so <laughs> I'll be bulking up soon, soon, soon. So, yeah, so how do you bulk up? Um, <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> eat down. lots and lots of food. There's some food that I'm not allowed to say, but. All oh, right. Heaps of veggies. Heaps yeah, yeah, of veggies, yeah. And heaps of meat. And then. Heaps of push-ups. Heaps of push-ups. Yeah. All right, bring it on. Heaps and heaps. I'm going to be like you in no time. <laughs> hey, now the Crusaders, yep. um, they're having a, an all right season at the yeah. moment, but you've been out for a while, so what's happened? Oh, it hasn't been too bad. I, um, I actually broke my arm in round three, and so i just been out and I had a scan uh, a couple of days ago and just uh, they told me that I'll be able to make it back for the end of the season. So, yeah. so oh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, look so at that days. scar, man. You're adding that yeah. to the collection. Hold that out there because we want to get a close-up of that. Of that is many, impressive. One of many. That's yeah. gnarly. How many stitches? Uh, 14, 15. Whoa. That's yeah. epic. But the crazy thing is they actually put a, like a metal plate on it in my, to help uh, hold my bone together and then they've put like about seven screws in there. So when you walk through the airport scanners now, you're just going ding, 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 ding. Yeah, exactly. And then they'll be like, have you got anything? Oh, no, nah, just my guns. Yeah. <laughs> Better not say that at the airport, eh? Hey, yeah. hey, team, welcome back to the 4.30 show today. We're joined by rugby player Robbie Fruin. Great to have you here, man. Thanks for having me, man, really. Now, uh, you're out of action at the moment because uh, of your arm, and you yeah. showed us the epic scar that you've got going on. Yeah. Now, um, you've had a few injuries before, back in the day with your heart. Yeah, yeah. So what happened then? Uh, actually, I caught rheumatic fever, and um, what had happened was it, the disease kind of got into my heart, inflamed it, damaged one of my valves and had to replace it. But wow. then I had to have it replaced again five years later, and then had to have another two operations that kind of had to help with the beat of my heart, so. Do you mind, like, I hear yeah. you've got a pretty epic scar. Man, yeah, just... it's one of those um, things that you kind of just look down at and just be reminded constantly. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, and that kind of goes right down to about the uh, middle of my belly, so. So when that happened, were you, like, freaked out about your rugby career? Like... I was. I was at first, but then um, I kind of figured out, oh, you know, I really want to be playing rugby. It's kind of what I grew up, grew up um, wanting to be and wanting to do and things like that. And then after the second one was probably one of the even the hardest ones. But other than that, got through it. Uh, happy yeah, days. Yeah, you've come out on top. What would you say to other people who are having difficulties or maybe injuries this season? What would you say? Um, I think first and foremost, obviously, you know, we all got to dream big and um, and like you know have have goals in mind that we wanna we wanna achieve. But then ultimately, you've got to listen to the people around you and the people like the doctors and that who know, yeah. who obviously know a little bit more than what you do and. Yeah. What would you be doing if you if you weren't playing rugby? If I wasn't playing rugby, yeah. um, I'd probably be trying to play other sports. Yeah. So probably volleyball or touch or. Or try to get that TV career going again. Yeah, yeah, Bring yeah, back yeah. Gun <laughs> I, I reckon. Bring that back in. I think it was fantastic. <laughs>
Please <laughs> hurry up and subscribe. Click, <laughs> click the subscribe button. Do it. God, Eva, you've been pushing. <laughs> no. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh,